Crews at the plant have been struggling to deal with contaminated water elsewhere on site. They're trying to stop hundreds of tons of tainted groundwater from flowing directly into the ocean every day. They say radioactive strontium and cesium may have been leaking into the ocean since May 2011. TEPC officials say 30 trillion becquerels of the radioactive materials may have flowed down to the shore in that time. That's well beyond the in-house annual emission limit of 220 billion becquerels. Cesium and strontium are easily absorbed into soil, so the officials say it's hard to determine the exact amount that got out. Radioactive water has been building up every day at the plant since the accident. It's a growing problem. The short-term solution is storage. There is no long-term solution. NHK World's Noriko Okada walks us through the issue. Workers pour 100 tons of cooling water every day into the three reactors where the meltdown took place. The water comes into direct contact with molten fuel and becomes highly contaminated. Company officials initially thought they would be able to reuse the contaminated water to cool the reactors. But then they discovered groundwater was seeping into the reactor buildings. They had to adapt their plan to address the 400 tons of contaminated water being pumped out every day. The company installed devices that were supposed to filter out the majority of the radioactive substances from the water. But so far, cesium is the only substance they've been able to remove. The stored water remains highly contaminated with other materials. Company officials say they are now storing some 340,000 tons of contaminated water in 1,000 tanks. They plan to add more tanks to increase capacity to 700,000 tons. But the tanks have been hastily built. Experts have often pointed out how vulnerable they are to damage. And this isn't the first time leaks have been found. Company officials have reported another grim figure. 30 trillion becquerels of radionuclide substances have been discharged into the ocean since May 2011. They say 950 trillion becquerels of cesium had leaked into the ocean before that date. That means about one quadrillion becquerels of radionuclide have been discharged into the Pacific. One expert says stopping the flow of contaminated water isn't enough. He is calling for more research into its effect. Radioactive substances are accumulating in the seabed and are being consumed by fish. High levels of radiation have been detected in some of the fish. We don't know the mechanism or how it's happening. This is something we haven't fully investigated. Kanda says information about the contamination must be fully disclosed. He says that's the only way to allay growing fear and distrust in Japan and around the world. Noriko Okada, NHK World.